Hello everyone, it's your sister Roland, and all I need is a few minutes to talk about this picture right here on my screen. And it is of a picture that went viral of a photo shoot of Brian Damon George with 24 of his children. 24 of his children, and I believe one, this lady right here is one of his baby's mothers. And he said nine were not there. Nine other children were not there. So in total, he seems to have 33 kids. And I believe it may be nine baby mothers. Nine, ten, or eleven baby mothers. And this photo went viral because he did a photo shoot with all of his children. You see... All of them have their shirt legacy. All of them were in conferences. And it was the photographer that posted it on her page. And then, of course, he reposted it. And it went viral from there. <sighs> and, y'all, it's been a mess. So, on my screen right here, you, this is him responding to critics of him well f first of all i think i believe he was actually responding to one of the baby mother's boyfriend or something that said something so he was so uh, addressing him i'm not gonna play it because he uses a lot of foul language and i don't want to hear all that you don't need to hear all that unless you choose to but he was, um, you know, addressing them, and then he was addressing women who don't take care of their kids and stuff like that. He was addressing all, all kind of people because, you know, he was upset, telling people he got his, <sighs> saying all kind of stuff. I mean, and giving his location, which doesn't, which is very foolish, because you given his location, you see him, you know, counting the money, showing money, stating that he has twenty k. And given his location, say he is on his way back to Marshall, Texas, where we live in a time that there's no more PPPs and there's no more stimulus. So a lot of people are, and then everything is high. So a lot of people are desperate. But you right there, stunting for Facebook and the gram or whatever, and telling people your location. It may not be their exact location, but you say where you're going to be. So some people, they're willing to drive how many hours or wait for how many hours to seek out you um you because you say you have 20k on you which is foolish but anyway child he was ranting and raving and I, the last time i checked when did only taking care of your kids financially qualifies you as a good father it takes way more than that to raise children and to raise you know healthy children that are assets to society asset to your family and yeah this guy okay he drives trucks he drives trucks um i'm sure he makes money but it's not like he, i don't think he owns his own trucking company you know he's probably a on the road truck driver so he spends a lot of time on the road you have 33 kids and all of them in different homes. How are you able, you one person, able to successfully um, be a successful father? You know, raise them where they have that, um, that father figure in their lives. You can't do that. You know, it's easy to give money and stuff like that. But kids need their father. Because their father, they need their after to be affirmed by their father. So their father can tell them who they are. That's why we have a lot of lost people. And a lot of people with a lot of deficits. Because they lack from both parents. Because they need both parents on the same page. And both parents have different things in them that the child needs to be raised. Um, to be a to be a healthy person, to be a good person in society. 
but how you one person gonna do this for 33 kids in nine different households 10 different households 11 different households giving money is not enough this does not qualify you to be a good father even the Bible tells you you're not supposed to be having kids with different uh, um different um, women. You're supposed to you're supposed to find a woman in your youth or whatever, and build a life with with her. I could uh, understand, you know, maybe he was married before. They had a lot of kids, and then um, maybe that wife passed away, and then he came with a, uh, another wife, but still probably would not even have all those kids. And I see a lot of people is calling him Father Abraham. The man is not Father Abraham. Father Abraham only had, I believe, like eight kids because he had like he had one with Sarah, he had one with Hagar, and then he had like six with Keturah. And from those um, sons that he had, they didn't talk with daughters. Came a lot of children, so his descendants were many. But he did not have a lot of children. So this man can't even compare. And then Jacob um, still didn't even have half of the kids this man had. So this man is really going overboard. with Because even this is what he said. So on March the 8th, preferably this year, he said, Man, I counted all my kids and baby mamas. Lord, I should have, I should have been stopped. So even you, there was some point in, in his life that he realized, you know what? I have too much kids. I really need to stop. But of course, he didn't stop because as he was saying in his life, his pull of game is not weak. He just doesn't pull out. So when he goes to lay with you, you know, raw, whatever. Yeah, he's not going to pull out. You're going to have a child. Unless you can't have kids, you will definitely have a child for him. And basically, he just came on the live just to show people, you know, because he got upset because he got all this backlash. And to show people, you know, he got money. Don't worry about him and stuff like that. But why are you responding? If you are so secure with yourself, you don't need to respond to the people on the Internet. You don't even know them. And then turn around in the same light and says, oh, he broke, but he have so-called 20K on the floor, on his truck floor. Okay, sir. And allegedly, this is a picture of a few of his baby mothers. There were some other um, pictures. I believe it was like, because this is five, I believe it's like five or four more. So as you can see, beautiful young ladies. And people would say, oh my goodness, why are these young, why would these women um, have kids with this man, basically? I mean, you know, the first one, okay. Maybe the, the second one. But then when you get into the third and fourth one, why would you choose to be the third, fourth, fifth, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven? baby mother uh, but what we don't realize is a lot of times because of the lack of fathers in the home or fathers who give the children identity and who affirms their children because of the lack of fathers in the home many women boys also grow up with a deficit and we don't know how to deal with those deficits. Sometimes many of us need therapy and or deliverance. And we need, we need, sometimes we need to say affirmations to ourselves also. Because we live in a society where um, now, you know, now the time that we're living in, even though there's still negativity being said about black women and everything, but all of our life, basically, you know, they have promoted other hues to be beautiful, other hues to be acceptable. Our um, black, uh, black person, a black woman, um, was never seen as beautiful, even though people would take a different things that come originated from us and then, of course, popularize it. But anyway, so 
you and then if you are hearing these things and seeing these things and you have nothing to counteract these things you don't have um something that your father said something that your mother said something that people kept on saying to you to counteract these things you internalize these things and then they 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 lower your self-worth they lower your self-value they lower your self-esteem and then you, of course, you don't know who you are. So when when you don't know who you are, you just take whatever. If I know I'm a queen, queens don't go anywhere. Queens don't talk to anybody. We don't sit a certain way. We don't dress a certain way because I am a queen. But we don't see that as the, I'm like that. And because of these deficits that we don't deal with, we mask them with makeup. We mask them with bags we max max mask them with degrees and jobs and houses and all um expensive dinners and and all kind of material things we max them with expensive hair and expensive clothes but we don't know that there are men especially if you're dealing with a woman a woman for the woman because this is like for a woman situation. There are men that can see through all paths, see through all of that, through all that facade. You trying to show that you confident and stuff like that. They can see through all that. And if you don't have the tools and you don't know how to vet these men to know to detect these type of men, then you fall under their whatever they do, their sweet talking, their spell, or whatever it is. But it's because it's something that he saw in these young ladies that he was able to exploit. It's some lack. It was some void. It was a deficit that he was. He may not even know what it he, what he saw, but it's something in them that he saw. He was able to exploit, and he was able to get them to be with him, to be the third, fourth, fifth, sixth baby mama, and all, and so on. And then for them to go along with it, some of them maybe they didn't know before but some but after a while you know maybe some of them didn't deal with him after that but some um have more than one child with this man and if you don't know how to detect these men like i was saying before before you know it you will be your drawers will be on the floor and your legs will be behind your ears and for those who don't wear drawers your legs will just be behind your ears because you won't be able to not fall into this person's um, um, traps and lies and whatever that they telling you, you know, things that you didn't hear because they're going to, they're going to temporarily fill that void and deficit. They're going to temporarily do it because they just trying to exploit you. And we have to, as we, as black women, we have to work on our, um, self-worth and our value and pe it you it just long time it used to i mean i mean shock me but now i'm not shocked because people are not working on themselves truly you could see a woman who is a beautiful black woman educated master's degree doctorate degree and a nice job good job and everything living a good um neighborhood drive a good car and then when you look the people, the person that they deal with is either they have a man or a husband that they could run all over or somebody that you may, may see is not on their level. And it happens a lot because we're not dealing with things on the inside. We just mask them. We deal on the outer, but we don't deal on the inner. What makes us feel low to the fact that even though we have accomplished so much successful things but we stoop and pick up um be with people that we're not supposed to even deal with some people you're not even supposed to walk on the same route with them if they walk in on the right you need to run to the left because that person is coming to take you out. Some of them, some, and, and that's what happens. These men come and take you out. They come and use you, put hands on you, uh, uh, and put you, put your self worth and your esteem at a lower, lower, lower rate than than it is. 
if you are looking just by the pictures of these women, you would have never know that they were um, baby mother to a man that has all of these children. You would have never know. And granted, some of them probably didn't know. And it was, you know, afterwards that they find out. But many of them did know. And you would never think that, wow, these women fell for this man. But as long as we're not dealing with the inside, dealing with our deficits that we got because maybe our father was not in the home or because he was in the home, but he was not, you know, he was, he did, we didn't have a relationship with him. He did not teach us the things that he needed to teach us. And sometimes, and when you don't have that father uh, um, in the home or whatever, the mother has to come in. Sometimes she has to work two, three jobs. She doesn't even have the time to do that. So sometimes we just, learn by trial and error learn by trial and error with low self-esteem low self-worth and then we get caught up in certain relationships and then when dealing with basically you're just looking for uh, a man's love which you was supposed to get from your father which you did not because men who are present in their homes who are there for their children you know who who the wife and the you better is as the wife and the husband are on the same page on the same page and they working together to build children many of these kids aren't they don't go through certain certain things like this they don't but if even if you're in the home you're not involved you don't know what's going on you don't even know your um your, your child's english teacher's name you don't know how many classes they're taking when they have certain things at school, you're not there because you think it's just, it's just only, you know, providing financially, but it's, it's a lot. It means a lot to them when they have something and then they see you take the time out of your job and be there for them. Cause those things, they don't forget. You never miss that game. You never miss that dance recital or musical or a show that they have or on a roll ceremony. You're always there. Those things stick with those children more than, yes, it's good, you know, you're able to provide um, them with, that they are able to get, you know, shoe, good shoes and good clothes or whatever, but be there for your children also, which this man is impossible for him to do. Impossible. Impossible. And then God forbid one of the mothers, you know, give him problems or whatever then sometimes some in situations like that they don't check for the child because they have problems with the mother <sighs> so with these um women it's going forbid something happened to this man because obviously you see he giving people his location and telling people he got 20k and stuff like that god forbid something happened to this man <sighs> and then Maybe now he probably have a will, but if he doesn't have a will, now you guys are going to be fighting in court, against the court, to get something for your children, you know, for your social, or for social security. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. And as a woman, we need to realize, especially when you have kids and we are emotional beings, that's why you need to know who you are. If you don't know who you are, you're going to pick anybody. You're going to be in a relationship with anybody because you don't know who you are. But if you know who you are as a woman, you're an emotional being. Sometimes, though you may love your children, you cherish your children, you'll do anything for your children, sometimes you may need a break. You may need a break. I just need an hour break. I need a two-hour break. But when you are, you chose to be with somebody who have all these kids or chose to be somebody that, you know, don't want to be a, 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 a father, then you are left to bear all the burden. You have to work. You have to help with homework. You have to do all this. Then all your, your emotions are all over the place. Your emotions are all over the place. That's why some women, you know, they puff, puff, puff and drink, drink, drink and do all kinds of stuff to relieve all of that stress. And sometimes they take out that stress out stress out on the the children they may not want to do that they but they don't have help you don't have that man to be to step and say um babe you you could go to sleep i'll take i got the kids babe you could go to the spa i got the kids 
you don't have that. So your emotions are all over the place. All over the place. And then you snapping, you doing this, you doing that. And then you're teaching the children, this is how we this is how you handle situations when you are stressed by you not knowing. But it's because of the choice that you made in the person that you choose to raise, have a kid with, have a kid or have children with. You have to understand who you are as a woman. That you make better choices in this life. You have to make better choices. Because other people can, you know, can, uh, um, if they make a bad choice, they have people that can, you know, back them up and cover for them. Many of us black people don't have that. We don't have that. That's why you have to move strategically. You have to get the healing that we, we need. Not feel better, but get the healing. Get deliverance. Get therapy. Do what you have to do. Some people, um, in in reality, you have to disconnect from like uh, um, social media. Disconnect from certain stuff. And then pl- have affirmations all over your room, all over your house. Playing affirmations. Record. Some people, you actually have to record certain affirmations to yourself. Play it in your house all day. Play it in your car while you're driving. Do that for two months. Do that for three months. To affirm you. To affirm to speak life into you. Because some people really, truly have no self-esteem. Some people have low self-esteem, but some people have no self-esteem whatsoever. And you speak a life into you. And you do that on a consistent basis, consistent basis. You get the therapy, you get the healing. You surround yourself with positive people, optimistic people, not pessimists. So that you can, so that you could, uh, uh, um, so that can help, so, so, so this can help you. To make better decisions. Because you start to. You know. Know who you are. And feel better about yourself. And know that you are worthy. And you don't have to settle for certain people. And to. And to get some skills on trying to. Uh, and, and detecting these men. Oh my goodness. Because if you don't. Before you know it. He will sweet talk you. Before you know it. And don't be saying, oh, that's, look at him. Oh, that never happened to me until it happens to you. That's why you need to equip yourself. If you are not equipping yourself, you just listen to these stories and then talking about people. Oh, look at how dumb they is. Oh, that'll never happen to me. Boom. Very soon it'll happen to you if you're not equipping yourself. So anyway, that's all I had to say on this situation. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in another video. Bye.